great day. Welcome to Mindset Motivation with Ms. Tracy. I'm glad you are taking time to tune in to the conversation today. Mindset Motivation is about recognizing the blockage that we have keeping us from our greatness, tapping into what that blockage is and stepping through it into our greatness, exposing and expressing our true gifts, being our true authentic self. And it all starts in the mind. There's a difference between the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. We all want to be in that growth mindset that we were truly born with. The fixed mindset is staying in that mediocre, mediocrity uh, space that keeps us down, where we don't elevate, we don't succeed, we, we, we challenge or doubt our power. That's that fixed mindset, where our growth mindset, it encourages our power, our success, our elevation, our moving forward, our whatever it is, our desires. And what it, what it is that blocks us from our true greatness is us getting in the way of ourselves. What blocks us from our gifts being exposed to the world it's us not thinking we are good enough, our low self-esteem, procrastination, integrity, or just different things that all sum up to self-imposed limitations. Self-imposed limitations lock us from our true, authentic self. It's, it blocks us from showing the world who we truly are. This is where we begin to put on different masks for different places or act in a certain way around certain people. Not being the same person everywhere we go is inauthentic because you start to lose yourself in who you really are, right? So we call these masks. We have to put up these masks for this place or these masks for that place. Or when I'm, when I'm here, then I need to be this way. And that's not your true self. I encourage you and give you give yourself permission to be authentic with everyone. Everyone loves the real you. Just be true to yourself. These are self-imposed limitations. The self-imposed limitations are those doubts or fears. Anything that's keeping us back because we make up these stories in our head that it's not for us to be our true greatness or we won't be accepted or or, um, you know, questioning our value. That's what self-imposed limitations are. That's what keeps us back. I call them belief sabotages, you know, BS. Belief sabotage. Because you're believing these things that are sabotaging your greatness. And let's talk about where these, these belief sabotages, these self-imposed limitations come from. What's blocking your greatness? What's blocking your greatness comes from a moment in your experience that you had some kind of trauma that made you feel a certain way that you don't want to feel anymore. So naturally, what we do is bring up this safety net, this, this barrier, this, this, this mechanism that's going to keep us from feeling that way again. The problem with that is the barrier does its job then we start not living our lives the way we intended, not being our true selves. We are, we start hindering ourselves from our greatness, from, from, from ourselves. That's what it does. Self-imposed limitations come from that, that feeling that you don't want to feel anymore. And uh, an example, riding a bike, right? Like anyone to say, easiest thing in the world. But what if it was, just imagine if it was a moment where you fell off of that bike and everyone laughed at you. So you decided that you don't want to feel embarrassed anymore. So you're not going to take any more chances. You don't want people to laugh at you again. So no, you're not going to get back on the bike. So it takes you longer to learn how to ride the bike, which is the first hindrance. And then the, the following hindrance is come throughout your life when you are scared to take those risks to be greater or step into your true potential or full potential because 
you don't want that moment that happened when you fell off the bike and everyone was there laughing at you because you don't want that to happen again. The safety net is up. Yes, the protection is there. Let's be honest, it's working. No one is going to be laughing at us anymore because we don't take action on, on our desires anymore. So the hindrance, we don't get our true life. You know what I'm saying? We, we are hiding from life because we don't want to be laughed at and are embarrassed. We don't want to feel that feeling again. Self-imposed limitation kicks in. Hey, and we lose. We lose. They come from that origin of having that feeling, that traumatic experience that you don't want to have again. And it and it's not just from childhood. It's just experiences that you have that happen in life. A lot of the, a lot of them do come from childhood. A lot of them do come from our uh, family and their beliefs. Also, let's be real. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, when it comes to uh, family, the best example that I could give you is um, I come from a family. My dad's side of the family is the whole family. It's what my late husband would have called superstition. <laughs> Superstitious. I'm like, Did he, is he saying stupid? I said, Tracy, I didn't know you were superstitious. I said, excuse me? <laughs> Offended. But then when we think about it, or when I thought, let me let me be in ownership of myself. When I thought about it, and, I, and I'm doing all these things to keep this bad luck from happening to me, I'm not splitting poles, I'm not going under... On, under ladders. I'm not putting my hat on the bed. Hey, I got them for days, y'all. I got them for days. I'm talking about born into the family, raised into the family, where I understand the language when I go over onto that side of the family with anyone. I know not to walk with my uncle and go through a pole without him having a conniption fit. <laughs> and let's think about it. If I, if it wasn't for that experience where he brought it to my attention that I'm keeping myself in a box by living this way. You know, black cat comes, so I'll pull over to the side, you know, turn my hat 13 times, you know, to get the, get the cat to, you know, reverse its bad luck on me. And then when another car comes and I can go because the other car then, then uh, rolled the bad luck off of me. Hey, come on now. It, it's too much energy that goes into it instead of just living my life to the best of my ability. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I still have that challenge where I second guess that, you know, like instead of when I split a pole, I pause and I say, I don't believe in that because it is about what we believe in. Our belief system is what moves us forward or hinders us and it starts in our mindset. You know, what we believe what we believe can keep us so closed up. So again, those self-imposed limitations also come from the way we were raised, our environment, our family, and you know their thoughts on how things work or your friends' thoughts on how things work. And then we kind of fall into that, into that system thinking this way. Our thoughts got us where we are right now. And it's in, it's time to really recognize and discover what is holding us back, look at it, and then find a way to reset it. It's there, it's gonna be there. Okay, I acknowledge that we're gonna always get those, those butterflies that, that says it's easier to quit. Try to see it, just quit. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta go out here in front of all these people, just quit. It's easy to quit. Tracy is not a quitter. Candy, my mama, didn't raise the quitter. So I keep going forward. At least now, let, let me say that we got some good things from our family too. So we're not about to just throw everything out that we learned from our family either. So take those thoughts, analyze what those thoughts are doing for you. What's keeping you and holding you back from your true greatness? Let's move on. That greatness, what's walking us from our higher possibility? Looking at it, bam, that's what it is. What's the opposite of that? The opposite of fear is courage. 
The opposite of failure is success. The opposite of self-hate is love. <laughs> so look at the opposite and step into the greatness and quit giving the energy to the limit. Challenge yourself. Give yourself permission to step into your full greatness. And let me give you my way of handling that. This is what I call the power of I am. The power of I am is whatever I say after I am directly affects me and it has power. Again, it could be positive or it could be negative. Whichever one you want to feed in your mind is what you have to be careful with. And you have to overwhelm yourself with the positive. Focus only on your desire. Focus only on your desire. Because if you talk about what you don't want, those are the things that you pull and attract to you. Because your mind is deeply set on what you don't want. So when your mind is set on what you don't want, it comes and is attracted, and is attracted to you. So seek only that what you desire. Again, seek only that what you desire. Because what you are seeking is also seeking you. The power of I am. I am powerful. That's the first thing. So once I say that I am powerful, I immediately, immediately am filled up with power. Even if I first say it like, you know, I, I am powerful. Doesn't seem like I'm eating too much. I am powerful. I am powerful. It truly comes and builds in you and fills you up with whatever that I am is. I am could also be negative. I am tired. You know, giving yourself that I am tired puts you into that phase of being tired. The power of I am. What is your I am? 